Hi everyone, another day, another share. Um, the last video I had shown off some new products that had come in, um, especially all the block lock uh, rulers and one of the th items that I had shown you was a kit uh, with a book. So I'm gonna, and I said that I would do a tutorial. Well, that's this tutorial. That's what I'm working on. So this is the book and it's called Blumen Cogwheels. And it's using, it's called a four blade, 22 and a half degree Dresden, basically, okay? That's what a cog wheel is, it's like a Dresden, okay? Now, I've chosen one in here that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna explain, explain, okay? It also comes with the rulers and I'm gonna show those to you now. So there's ruler A and ruler B. Now, they're identical in size okay what is not the same from one to the other is where these grooves are that lock into your seam allowance okay and if you, I put them together like this they're the same size but these grooves are not lining up they're not they're not lining up and there's a reason for that it's based on which direction the your seam allowances go now in the book in the book, she explains everything, how to use the blocks, what what they are. She talks about pressing your seams, which direction. Um, we do not open our seams for this because then if you open your seams, you do not, these little grooves will not lock into your seams. And that's very important to be able to cut. She shows different ways of putting your fabrics together to cut these apart. She explains all sorts of things. She explains how to uh, assemble the different styles, explains everything, okay? But what I also liked was she gave you an explanation on how to design and come up with your own, your own way of doing your own designs. She also has a life size size, so you can color in and have an idea and then you do the math for the and she explains it all you can photocopy this and do as many colorings as you would like to come up with your own ideas of layout of your strips and everything so the one I'm going to be showing you is this one right here okay this one right here okay and she there's two strip sets everything is two strip sets you're working on two strip sets now, what I found that I did not have enough to do the whole plate because you need um, four for each quadrant, okay? And I did not have enough on one strip set to get the amount that I needed because you need, um, you need two of one strip set, two of the other strip set to put a quadrant together. Now, I'm going to show you the, the, the strip set number one. So this is strip set number one. Okay, that's strip set number one. And this is, this is strip set number two. Okay. So we have a big strip here and a little. And then these have different widths of strips. And she, depending on which style you choose from, which cogwheel that you want to do that's inside the book, you have different strips, uh, widths to cut. That's why I'm not giving them to you. They're not, it's not my pattern, so I'm not giving it to you. So I'm just going to make sure that I've laid this out in the, in the right direction. And I have. So the first one we're going to cut is the A. Now we're cutting two two wheels, okay, we're going to concentrate on one, but then you have a second cut from the same strip strip set with the B, and that gets put aside. With the second strip set, you your one that you keep is the B, and you put aside the A. So in this case, um, like I said, I've chosen one that's fairly easy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. Now, in the book, she tells you which, which um, groove you would um, line up 
which groove you would use for each seam allowance. She gives you the, that. And I'm just going to lock these into place and make sure it's all lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my A. And then I'm going to take my B and the B goes this way. And this is why you need the B's because the seam, this, it, my seam allowance is going this way and that was fine, okay? And then with the B, it t she tells you to line up with the a groove at the number three inch, a groove at number four, and, and a groove at number seven. So, and it locks in and it doesn't move. So this B on this strip set, see these are the two strips. These are the two strips. Okay, these are the cogwheels. This one is going to be put aside for the second because we're cutting two out at the same time. And this one is going to be kept for the one that I'm doing. Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and cut this one. So I'm just going to double check to make sure I have these in the right order and I do. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the A. Now in this case the A is the extra, I believe. Yes, the A is the extra. Because in this case, I want this to be the point, the widest part, for the next cogwheel. And I'll show you those in a minute. I'm just going to cut my A, my A. So the A is the extra. Okay, so that one gets put away on one side. And then I'll take the B and the B is the one that I'm working with for the first cogwheel. So she calls, she says that you're making two cogwheels. One's an extra and one's the one that you're actually doing from the book. She doesn't show the extra cuts. It's extra. And this one is the one that we're going to keep. Okay, let me put this aside. And I'm going to put the rulers aside. Now it's assembly. I'm going to put this down. So we have we have this one and this one. Okay, and this is how it's going to look. Okay, these to get them to point, we're going to put right sides together, and we're going to sew. We're going to put, we're going to fold them in right, right sides and we're going to, right sides together, fold in half. And we're going to sew from here to here a quarter inch. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this one. Now I have some ready to go. All right. I just got to find them. Just bear with me. All right. So I have them, they're sewn. And... Now we just have to turn and we need to center this point. We need to center this point. Okay, and that looks perfect. And then we're going to iron. Okay, and don't forget these, this is an angle now, so be very careful when you work with them. Don't stretch and play with them too much. Just make sure that they're ironed down, and then we're going to turn this one. Okay, I'm trying to make it look centered. I'm eyeballing the center. I'm eyeballing that. All right, so these are ready to be sewn together. So you would go ahead and sew these together. Okay, so 
you would sew two together these together and then two more and then the four now I'm gonna show you so I have this one and this one so then once you sew these together you're gonna sew two together like this opposite and then you're gonna sew so you're going to sew this together, this together, and these. Now, what I like to do is I want all my seam allowance to flow in a circle. So I make sure everything, I choose a direction, and I do everything in that same direction as I iron. And I'll show you that eventually, in a moment. Now, it's really easy, but this, is, this edge here, this point here, is what you want to match up. If it doesn't quite match up at the bottom, in this case, because here you have no seams to sew together. On the second one that you cut, okay, you do have some matching of seams to do. So I'm going to show you what four of them are like when you sew them all together. And this is what it's like, okay. So this one I did not make sure so I this one here is going in the wrong direction so I would probably go in and re iron that like this and make sure that when I'm sewing these and ironing them I'm ironing them all in one direction now you, you're probably hearing my steam I iron with steam I do I don't I don't um, and see how nice it lies nice and flat Okay, and then you would continue that till you get all four quadrants done, and then you'd sew two quadrants together, and then two quadrants, and then sew those together. Now, there will be a hole here, and I'm going to show you the finished Dresden, or cog's wheel, however you want to call it, of the alternative. So that's this one. And... So this was the opposite ones that we did. And you have to match these up. Okay? And what I ended up doing is, is I had to kind of do some fussing. And you want to make sure that this point here matches up. And once your cogwheel is assembled and made, um, you will... Um, let me see if I can step... No you would have um, a background fabric and then you would pin it down onto that background fabric and you would choose a color and I'd probably choose um, either I would fussy, fussy cut one of the bugs, one of the bigger bugs in this fabric or I will just cut from this fabric something from that fabric. Um, I don't have a lot of this fabric left so chances are in this case I'm just going to fussy cut one of the bugs and I will just find something and, and fussy cut from this fabric and put it there. Um, you can use a completely different fabric. Uh, this is a dark navy blue so you could put a dark navy blue there if you want. Now I'm just going to show you the other side. As you see, I have ironed everything going all around in the same direction. And for me, that helps keep all these seams flat and this whole thing flat. Now, I would applique this on a much bigger piece of, a square piece of fabric. Once it's applique, I would also applique in the center. I like to um, cut away the excess background fabric that I've appliqued this onto um, and then I just put that big piece because it ends up being quite big. This is from point to point, this is about 19 and a half inches. So my um, square will be either substantially bigger or it will be about 22 inches or, or something she, or 20 and a quarter finished. This is 19 and a half almost, and like I do some kind of finagling of math and decide what my square is. This is the reason why I do it this way so I can uh, control. But look how beautiful this is. So this was the alternative, and let me just get the quarter out of this 
and you'll see that this is this is this is the blue and then this is the the printed fabric whereas this one is you're going to have the blue and the printed fabric here and you have different points in different colors here let me just move this out so you can see that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and get this one assembled and um, as soon as I either have it all applique down I will uh, show you what they look like finished the tops finished um, uh, in the next as soon as they're finished I'll show them in um, an upcoming video all right so that is the block lock bloom cogwheel kit and it comes with the book and the two rulers with the two rulers okay your A and your B and there's lots of information and lots of styles that you can do in from this book and she also gives you instructions and um, tips on how to um, design uh, and come up with your own ideas all right and that's it. Another day, another share. And um, if you want to see more of these tutorials, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and um, light up the bell and you'll be notified when I upload a video. So we'll see you on the next Other Day, Another Share. Bye-bye.